Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. We've been doing this for over 170 knives. We're going through the collection. I'll, I can tell you right now, we've started with our Spydecos. There are there's a playlist of a, over 170 Spydecos from my collection. Some real classics some present day gems and we've got uh, I'm guessing maybe a hundred more and then we move on to our Chris Reeve my Chris Reeve knives and Browse blades and all kinds of knives but today it's another knife of the day by the way we do this Monday through Friday there are four five videos at least each and every week turn on your notifications because I'm going to start posting a lot more videos too as knives, new knives arrive. But today, the knife of the day is a real interesting special knife. It's the Spydeco Spy Fox. Spydeco Spy Fox. It's a collaboration between the Spydeco Knife Company and the Fox Cutlery Company, an, uh, an Italian knife uh, company that Spydeco has worked with a lot. This is a little knife. If it looks sort of familiar, I've already done a look at the Spydeco Volpe. The Spydeco Volpe is a collaboration between Spydeco and Fox Cutlery. You can see the similarities. One of the differences is the Volpe was distributed and marketed by uh, Spydeco. The Spy Fox, pretty much marketed by Fox Cutlery. It comes in a Fox Cutlery box. But two very unique and very well put together knives. If you want to see more about the Volpe, go check it out on the playlist to this channel the knife of the day playlist this is the little guy I'm gonna tell you something there's one thing that just drives me crazy about this knife because of how I carry small knives and there's another thing that's a very nice surprise but let's talk about it just like the other collaboration between Fox and Spydeco when they did the Volpe just like the Volpe it's stainless steel and this wonderful olive wood on the handle that to me makes everything just mwah. it makes an okay small knife or an okay knife into just a gem gentleman's folder it's just beautiful it feels, it feels beautiful. That olive wood just works against that stainless steel. It's just a wonderful package. In fact, I think one of the best parts of this knife and one of my greatest disappointments involves the handle. So let's start with the handle. Like I said, stainless steel handle, as you can see, and then that wonderful olive wood in the front and in the back. It just looks pretty, pretty. I mean, to me, the only thing that could make it look even better is if that was all titanium with the olive wood. But again, that would go up in price big time. So I really love that. See-through construction, it's already a smaller knife, so it's only 1.2 ounces. That's it. It is really a light knife. I think too the way they have this frame lock works great. It reminds me a little bit of the Manundi, the Chris Reeve Manundi. You know, on the Manundi, you have the scales covering the frame lock even a little more. So a lot of people confuse it with a liner lock, although it's the Chris Reeve integral frame lock. This too is a Chris Reeve integral frame lock. It's not covered that much. The wood is great because it, it helps you as an over-travel. 
you can't extend that bar too much because of the olive wood. Just a wonderful knife. I like the clip as well. I'll tell you, when I first got it, I went, why do they have this big old clip on this handle? It's such a, uh, a light knife. I'll tell you, I really like it. When I do carry this, and I don't carry it as much as I'd like to, because I'll tell you that in a few moments, I love this clip now because I use it as a money clip. <laughs> it is a very good pocket clip. It is an exceptional money clip. <laughs> okay? So, <laughs> if you like your knives, and I do with some of my smaller knives, especially the Spyderco Crickets, I use them as money clips. Those seem to work better as money clips because people don't even know their knives. But this clip is a good money clip. I would never use this originally as a money clip, but the reason I do is, like I told you, my one disappointment. I always carry a small knife as a keychain knife. I only have a silver loop with three keys on it, and it's different every day because I put a different small knife on it. So I have a pretty sizable small knife collection. I remember grabbing this when I first got it, so excited, setting it out on my desk. This was gonna be my keychain knife. Just a wonderful smaller knife with that wonderful look with the olive on it. And it doesn't have a lanyard hole. I don't know, maybe it's a religious thing with <laughs> Fox Cutlery, but come on, man. The big knife that doesn't need a lanyard has a lanyard hole. My little one doesn't. That bugged me. It also, they don't put clip holes down there. So you do get a right hand and a left hand clip. See that? But it's only tipped down, only tipped down. But for my purposes, it probably doesn't matter to you guys. I miss that lanyard hole. And usually with smaller knives, I think it's great to have a lanyard because if it's deep in your pocket, you have something to grab, but that's okay. Let's talk about this blade. It's N690 steel. N690 steel. It's 2.1 inches of blade. And I'm going to compare this with a lady bug and a dragonfly at the end of this. And you'll see that this little blade actually is a lot bigger than you think. It's all edge. That's one reason. It's all edge. So when I line them up edge to edge, look at it. This is a really nice knife. And that's why I start getting angrier and angrier <laughs> that I can't put it on my keychain. It doesn't need to be on a keychain because altogether it's five inches. It's not like it's a three inch little play knife. I saw a review somewhere and they act like it was a toy. It's not a toy, my goodness, are you crazy? You can use this for a lot of different things. No jimping, a good frame lock, a beautiful knife, five inches, only 1.2 ounces, good steel, the N690 steel, and man, is it put together nice. Left, right, tip down only. Yeah, that's the knife of the day. I really like it. If you can find one, and, and they're available, grab it. It's the Spydeco Spy Fox. It's the collaboration between Spydeco. I'm lining up the edges. That's the Dragonfly. This is the Ladybug. So even Spydeco's little big knives, when you get to the actual edge, this is a useful edge. It's called the Spy Fox. This, my friends, is the Keith Kevin Kin channel. We do the knife of the day as I go through my four cases. Ah, five pretty soon. I'm fighting it, but now I have like 25 knives on my desk. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going through the cases one knife at a time, one day at a time, Monday through Friday here on this channel. Don't forget to thumb up. Hey, thank you if you do that. When you like the video, just, 
gives me the energy to do this. I do it right before work, right before I run off into the rat race. And sometimes I don't want to do it. I want to sit quietly, smoke a cigar, and drink some coffee. But I don't want to let you guys down. So Monday through Friday, give me some likes. Give me some energy. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that little bell. Hit that little bell. Turn on notifications because I'm a subscriber of a whole lot of YouTube channels. And sometimes I miss videos for a month. And when I finally comes on my screen, I go, oh, why have I missed it? I'm a subscriber and I realize I didn't do notifications. You guys have a perfect day. Take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.